Casey and coach will look at this ball game 59 to 56 the final score really went down to the wire really a good test in this first game well I, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you I'm, I'm really upset for this game uh, we're going up against an opponent that uh, didn't have their best, their best post player plan they didn't have their second best post player plan they didn't have the point guard plan and, and we really struggled for most of the night and uh, you know I don't know how telling this is going to be for the rest of our season uh, but right now we struggle offensively we struggle making good decisions uh, I don't feel like we got the 50 50 balls the way we needed to so as a head coach right now this is probably one of the most disappointing nights I've had since I've been the head coach of Carson Wentz. And this is a very physical game both these teams did a lot inside we saw a lot of players from both teams on the floor and we saw Shire Brown get shaken up at 1.40 miles having us some time as well. Well it was physical and uh, you know both teams played hard obviously we give a lot of credit to the coach. I knew it was going to be a tough task for us. They have even with those kids being out they still have some experience where we have uh, uh, very little and uh, you know the big difference was they have uh, they have a 24 and uh, you know at the moment we don't have one and uh, I knew that worried me down the end because they could get the ball in her hands and, and she was somebody we had to pay a lot of attention to and when you have a player like that you know typically you come out on the, on the winning end at the end of the game. Shire Brown hits a free throw to make it 56 all, 25 seconds left to go. And then you look at what happened after that. Quick three-pointer from Coker, and then Carson even gets the ball back. You called a timeout with 11 seconds left. What was said in the timeout? What were you trying to do on the next possession? Well, uh, if you go back to the free throw where uh, we're, we're tied up and it's under the, it's under 30 seconds, and I knew they'd probably hold it, which I didn't like our chances uh, the way we've been defending. So um, I wanted to stay in the 2-2-1, which gave them a little bit of issue to burn some of that clock down, hoping that we had take their time and then get it in the half court with not too much time left on the shot clock. And I even thought about trapping it to try to make them do something with the basketball. Uh, when we came back down and we called the timeout, we're down three. Obviously, that's, you don't ever like to be in that scenario uh, with 11 seconds to go. But we ran Tatum off the ball, off the two screens, a stagger on, uh, double stagger on each side, on the left side. And then we had Shante, who just came off the bench, but she's our second best three-point shooter. And we ran her the other side, hoping to get something. And, you know, Tatum got a decent look in that scenario, but uh, just didn't go down and Tatum Burstrom once again, three three-pointers, and she's showing a knack for the big shot. I mean, she had missed a couple down the stretch, but still had some big three-pointers, a couple that gave it the lead. Well, you know, the one good thing about this right now is that we got J.J. as a freshman playing, we have Tatum as a freshman playing, and, uh, you know, they're going to have a good career here, and they're in this environment, and they're going to have to learn to make shots because I went to Tatum and so, uh, you know, going to a freshman, I don't really care. It doesn't matter if they're a freshman or a senior. I've got confidence that she can make the shot. And, uh, she made some big ones tonight. And uh, I, there's a couple there that uh, we got really excited on the bench thinking that she was going to drop it and get us a little bit bigger lead than we had. I think our biggest lead was about one and two points. So, um, but nevertheless, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. I just, uh, that was a winnable game for us, and it could have been one that we won, considering the circumstances of the poker. Quick turnaround. You got a game tomorrow against the Surskin team. We're about to see take on Lincoln Memorial. What's your message going to be to your team about getting ready for tomorrow? Well, that's the only good thing about a situation like this is that we get a quick turnaround and uh, you know we can come back over here and try and get a W tomorrow and get that loss out of the mouth, get that taste out. But um, uh, you know I don't know a lot about this bunch here. Talk about Erskine. So uh, we'll sit here and check them out. And, uh, uh, tomorrow we'll try and, uh, you know, my game plan is to want to get that tempo going so we can get some quick shots on the offense or some good layups, you know, some one-footers and stuff because I don't think we drove it to the basket like we could have tonight. Um, otherwise, you know, we may have to turn, slow it down a little bit, just become a half-court team and, and kind of be led from the bench, so to speak, and, and get them in a certain place to where we know who's going to be getting shots. Coach Mincy, thank you for joining us. Thank you.